In this video, we will show how to represent the Schrodinger equation in momentum space. According to the postulates of quantum mechanics, a physical state is represented by an abstract cat vector, which belongs to some Hilbert space. Usually, we are interested in the wave function of this state, which we can obtain by projecting the abstract cat onto the position basis states, which yields psi of x. However, we can also project the cat psi onto momentum basis states, such that we get psi of k, the Fourier transform of psi of x. In the same way, we will now take the abstract representation-free Schrodinger equation and project it onto momentum basis states. The left-hand side can be simplified to involve the wave function psi of k and t, but on the right-hand side, we have to deal with the Hamiltonian operator. Since the Hamiltonian consists of kinetic energy and potential energy, let us investigate each part separately. First, for the kinetic part, we insert a completeness relation such that the operator has momentum states on each side, and we get the wave function psi of k prime t. Now we can let the operator p act twice on the state k prime, which yields the eigenvalue h bar k prime. Next, the bra cat product of two momentum eigenstates is simply a delta function, which helps us to perform the integration. The result is h bar squared k squared over 2m times the wave function psi of k and t. The potential energy part is a bit more complicated. We start by inserting a completeness relation in order to get the wave function psi of k prime and t. But then it's not clear how the potential which involves the position operator, acts on the momentum basis state k prime. To solve this problem, we can insert two more completeness relations in position space using x and x prime. The reason for this is that we can now write the term in the middle as v of x, which is now just a number, not an operator anymore. And the kx and x prime k prime terms give us exponential functions. After using the delta function to get rid of the x prime integration, we separate the terms like this. Everything inside the square brackets now looks like a Fourier transformation, such that we can write this as v tilde of k minus k prime. Finally, the result is 1 over the square root of 2 pi times the integral over k prime v tilde of k minus k prime and the wave function psi of k prime t. Putting everything together, we get the Schrodinger equation in momentum space. I h bar times the time derivative of psi of k and t is equal to h bar squared k squared over 2m psi of k t plus 1 over the square root of 2 pi times the integral over k prime v tilde of k minus k prime and the wave function psi of k prime t. Note that in three dimensions, the factor in front of the integral changes like this. But that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.